everyone. My name is Dr. Kara Bromond, and I'm a neuroscientist uh, at the University of Wyoming. Today, I'm excited to share with you a fun experiment um, that demonstrates sensory integration. And to do this, we're going to do a fun experiment that's been adapted from um, Tulane University and requires some really simple materials. So have you ever noticed when you have a cold and you're sick, and so you have a stuffy nose, that you can't really taste the foods that you're eating. And you don't even really want to eat that much food because you can't really taste it. Better yet, when your parents try to make you eat something that you really don't like, uh, you tend to plug your nose while you eat it and you don't taste it as much. And that's because um, our sense of taste and our sense of smell are highly integrated at the level of the brain. So the cells in our brain called neurons are highly connected to one another when they process the sense of smell and the sense of taste. They're located near each other in the brain and they talk to each other to allow us to experience um, taste and smell. So we're going to um, experience this firsthand. So in order to do this experiment, we're gonna need some simple things that hopefully you have uh, around your house. So the first is gonna be some vanilla extract. Maybe you've been doing some baking and you've been making some delicious chocolate chip cookies and so you have some vanilla extract laying around. The other thing is an apple. Um, another kind of fruit would work fine, but um, an apple would be best. And then an a, um, a napkin, a paper towel, or a cotton ball, something um, that can just absorb a little bit of this vanilla. And then of course, since we're doing a little a science experiment, it's always important to have a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil to be jotting down the data we're gonna collect during our experiment. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our apple and uh, bite into it and record what we taste. So my apple, it's gonna depend on the kind of apple that you have at your house, but mine tastes pretty sweet. Um, you can write down other experiences, it's crunchy. Um, but for the most part, from what I'm tasting, I'm tasting something um, that tastes pretty sweet. Now what we're gonna do is fold up um, your cloth a little bit just to absorb some of this um, vanilla extract when we pour it over. And then I'm just gonna cover up the lid and just do oh, a quick little tilt over to get some on my paper towel. <clears throat> now what we're going to do is we're gonna hold this up to our nose. Careful, it can be a little potent, but hold this up to your nose and smell it at the same time that you're gonna take a bite of your apple again. Now write down again what it is you just experienced when you ate your apple. So again, my apple um, was sweet to begin with and vanilla kind of has a sweet smell to it. So I was still experiencing something that was sweet. However, it was different. It tasted a little bit more like I was eating a vanilla tinted apple, uh, which is just a really fun way to show the strength that your sense of smell can have over your sense of taste and how integrated those two things um, can be. On our tongue, we have special receptors that can taste salty, sweet, sour, umami, and bitter. So five different things. And vanilla is one of those tastes that is highly reliant on the ability to smell it while we're tasting it in order to um, process that. And so when we take a bite of our apple the second time, since we're smelling that vanilla simultaneously, the vanilla kind of overpowers that sense of taste and it gets integrated in your brain and it tells you that now your apple tastes a little bit like a vanilla apple. Wouldn't that be tasty? So it's really fun to think about some other um, different smells and tastes that you can combine around your house to continue collecting some data and seeing how integrated your sense of taste and sense of smell really are. I happen to have um, some peppermint extract as well as some almond extract, um, just from some baking. 
And then I still have a lot of my apple left as well as I have these little um, cuties or mandarins at my house as well. And so if you have other foods, maybe you wanna try some vegetables, some other fruits, um, some other smells that you can um, smell at the same time and just continue to document how those tastes differ um, based on what you're smelling at the same time. So this was just a fun, simple experiment to show you um, how integrated um, these different sensory systems are at the level of the brain.